learn to silence your mind. Uda says to legend that one day at an advanced age, Uda was going through a forest. It was a hot summer day, and he was very thirsty. Then said to Ananda, your disciple, you need to go back. We passed a small stream five or six kilometers ago. Go, bring my bowl of alms and bring me some water. I'm thirsty and tired. Ananda returned, but when she arrived at the scene, she realized that some ox cars had crossed the stream, revolving the dry leaves bed and leaving the water muddy. It was no longer possible to drink that water because shite was very dirty. He came back with empty hands saying, you need to wait a while. But Buddha insisted by saying, come back and bring the water from the first stream. And don't come back if the water is still dirty. If it is dirty, simply feels on the sidelines and remain silent. Do not do anything. Do not enter the stream. Just feel the margin in silence and note. Sooner or later, water will be clean again. You can fill the bowl and come back. Ananda could not understand the insistence. But if the master was ordering, you would obey. Thus, he followed. Even knowing the absurdity, that it would be five or six kilometers, knowing that the water was not good to be drink. Ananda returned to the scene. Buddha was right. The water was almost clean. The leaves had been taken. The dirt had settled. So he sat on the bank and just watched the river flow. Slowly, he became transparent as a crystal. Ananda returned dancing. Ananda handed the water to the Buddha and thanked him playing his feet. So Buddha said, what are you doing? It is me who should thank you for bringing me this water. And Ananda answered. Now I understand. At first I was angry. I didn't show it, but I was angry because I thought it was absurd to go back. Now I understood the message. Sitting on the bank of the river, I realized that the same thing happens to my mind. If I dive into the river, I will dirty it again. If I dive into my mind, I will only create more noise. More problems will be unearthed and will start to appear. I learned the technique simply by sitting on the bank. Sitting on the fringes of my mind, I observed all your dirt, your problems, its rotten leaves, hurts, wounds, memories, and desires. I just sat carefree in the fringes of everything and waited for the right time where everything would be clean again. This happened by itself, because the moment I sat on the fringes of my mind, I did not convey any more movement to it. This is true meditation. Meditation is the art of transcendence. What is that? What is that? 